I've enjoyed the the attention that crowdfund has been receiving lately, uh, because I'm aware that in North Carolina's own tradition, it's been a very important role in our economic development. After the Civil War and the devastation that resulted from that, the state and its investors were really the rift of capital, uh, and decided the only way out of their economic situation was to pull out pulled themselves up by their own bootstraps and, and invest in manufacturing. But there was a recognition that we lacked the institutions, the financial resources, and, and really the, the wealthy class to invest in, in industrialization. So an alternative strategy was developed, and that was to pool capital from many small investors across North Carolina and build manufacturing plants, textile plants, tobacco plants, furniture plants that became really the economic center of the small towns that still dominate the North Carolina landscape. So small investors would pool quite often through investments of as little as 50 cents a week, investment in a local mill, construct a textile mill that would employ local workers, that would use locally grown cotton, and produce textiles that would then be sold across the U.S. and around the world. And the result was that profits were being imported back into the state, back into the pockets of the many investors in these small towns. It created the kind of wealth that has sustained many of them through some of the most recently uh, troubled economic times.